Hello, welcome to another episode of the Long Hop Cricket Podcast. With me, Owen, alongside me, pointing to himself, <laughs> is Dave. And today we're going to be covering the first 2020 between England and India. India and England, we're doing that now. Put, oh, sorry. The, home, put the home team first. Yeah, eh? oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> India and England. Um, <clears throat> and um, first of all... Do you know what we never do as well? We never. You destroy my intro. <laughs> <laughs> we never tell them what ground it's been played in. Well, you can come in after if you like. I don't. Tell I them don't that. I'm You're not, not really bothered. That. I still too much work for me today. Right. Okay. Right. Have you got any news? Yes. Before we get into the game, I have some news. I have Australia sealed their five match ODI series with Pakistan, where they win four one, and we see Warner and Travis Head share. 284 uh, oh. first wickets land. That's crazy. David Warner's a very good... Um, They've given Pakistan a good player though, isn't bashing, he? haven't they? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> David Warner picks up um, 179 in that game. Mm. I'm looking forward to the Ashes now. Because Australia are looking yeah. so good. Well, they're looking better than they certainly... Well, not. they cr- they crushed Pakistan and we struggled against them. No, they're not, they're not looking as good as teams we have crushed. Have, uh, are they? No, but England aren't as good as... Should be. True. Uh, Pakistan could only make 312 in their reply of uh, Australia's 369. So Australia looking better all the time now. They go 4-1 up and win that series. Uh, AB De Villiers makes his way back into international cricket Ooh. in the T20. That's good news. Picks up a 50, but it's not enough as Sri Lanka win by five wickets versus That's got to be nice for Sri Lanka. South Africa. Yeah. Isn't it? Because they've been struggling recently in cricket. Uh, back to Australia and Joe Many. Have you heard about this? No. The big bash bowler. Oh, been hitting <laughs> yeah, I have. Head yeah, sorry, nets. I didn't know. Yeah, that's bad, isn't it? Right. Now, this is going to become an occupational hazard, isn't it, of bowling in limited over games, potentially being hit in the head. Was it in practice? Yes, but it's going to, it, it, it doesn't change from practice to nets, does it? You've got, still got well, a chance of being just, hit in the head. It's just cricket, isn't it, yeah. getting hit? But it, obviously... In, are they? What are you going to bowl with a helmet on? Well, what what can you do? Because it, it, it that could that could have killed Jamie. Yeah. No? no, I know. I'm not underplaying it, but but I do, there's nothing you can do. No, it's well, just the game, isn't it? I know it's it, that's not a good attitude, but I don't really know how you. It's like what you're going to wear like a polystyrene helmet in the field or something. Do you think if they wore Peter Cech's helmet, they that could that sustain? Oh, well, oh I'm a sure it would make a difference. Yeah, but. Because I think I, I honestly think something that would look weird, wouldn't it? Because I think it like might only polo. be you know we've seen it now with Joe Manor. We've seen umpires are now taking shields out action with them. towards. I think umpires should. Yeah. Although they're a bit further It'd be away interesting than the to see. in their follow through. I don't know who takes precedent of this. Whether the to the individual um, playing the individual countries cricket societies right. like the ICC yeah. or, or the um, MCC or whatever. Well, the ECB and the Indian Cricket right. Board and all of that, or whether it should come under the international cricket community, well, the ICC. I don't know what you could do for bowlers. I think they have. Yeah. They've, yeah well, yeah, because not for bowlers, but they're addressing the problem. Because I was watching... With um, people getting hit in the head. Downey today. Comes out and bats without a helmet on, blessed the spinners. You can, can't you, in India? Well, it's stupid. What if yeah. he top edges it? They skulls it? Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I don't know. It happens. Yeah, yeah. you see it with wicket keepers it. who stand up to the stumps with the, and they're getting spin. Craig Keysworth has famously I've lost seen his. It in a, I, I was stopped a his match. Get, I was playing in. Well, he top edged he t- The guy was trying to. He, hit, he was going for six sixes, and it was the sixth one. Top edged it, and it broke his nose. But luckily, still doesn't wear a helmet. Still doesn't wear a helmet. That would have been the skull. It would have been. It's something I think actually needs to look at, but it's it's horrible to see players. Get injured. It's bad. It is bad. But it's going to be hard gonna, to change for it's bowlers. It's dif- difficult, isn't it? Yeah. For bowlers. What about ice hockey masks? For bowlers? <laughs> like, yeah, coming in on like Halloween style like ice hockey. <laughs> I mean, you could, but it's going to, it's like, I don't know. What about I think you've got to astronaut helmets. the game a little bit. <laughs> right, cricket. In England won again. We yeah, are again, we're just crushing limited over it. kings. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually, I think we are the much better oh, T20 side. For judging from this game? No, judging in just, if you look at the lineups. Do you reckon we'll win every 2020 against them? 
Well, I said 2-1 India, but that was I think 2-1 England, but I had to... For the, you for the good of the show, really I had to go right. against it. So, um, give that away, really. Mm, I look at the teams. Yeah, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know much about the Indian team. We see Suresh Rayner come back in, who's been a long stay of Indian cricket, especially in limited overs. Do you rate him? No. I don't. I haven't... I One don't of the most I overrated... No, I mean, overrated players. He should, he should have gone on and... Not, I'm not saying he should have been Kohli. He should have been Yuvraj Singh esque and have the same sort of success Yuvraj he, has had. He doesn't inspire, he doesn't look confident when he bats. No, I don't think. No, where Ben Stokes picked him up with a, you know, a leg stump Yorker. A leg stump Yorker for, for a left hander. Yeah. He shouldn't, be, he shouldn't be getting bowled around your legs as a left hander <laughs> coming over the wicket. No, but I mean, I, I didn't see him get out. What shot was he playing? Was he trying to scoop it or something? No, no, it was he was just, oh, trying just to, playing properly. Oh, right. Well, pro- as properly as you would do in T20, just it's he's trying slightly to walked along and just right. Yeah, no, he's, I he's yeah, I, scoop, I think he's it? overrated. Uh, they bring in a f- no Jadeja, no Ashwin. Why is Ashwin? Is he taking a rest? I don't, I don't know, know why I, you drop I, him. I don't know. Whether, I don't know if they play uh, those two in. I don't know much about this T20 team. We see Chalal Sh- 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 Shahai. Apologies again. <laughs> no, Chalal, forget that. Shahai uh, picked up the two wickets today with his leg spin. They're both leg spin, as you see. So, um, and Rasul, who got hit. But um, the England team, we see Sam Billings in four. Hales. Uh, and then probably Moen Ali keeps his place. You asked about whether Moen Ali should potentially play T20 cricket last game, didn't you? Uh? Yeah, I, I what about he shouldn't be? Well, you, I think he should. Well, you, you, you I think you were asking, is he going to get a chance to bat? Oh, is right. he good enough to bowl? Yeah, well, yeah, I think he's good enough to get in the 2020 team, but you got to use him for something because I just don't think he's used really. I well, I don't. Yeah, um, he's picked as a bowler, Chris Jordan, I think's very good T20 player, better a better T20 player than he is ODI player. Liam Plunkett again the same. And Adil Rashid w- brings his way yeah. back into the team. Um, um, for what reason? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, I think I I called for it last game. I know you didn't. You didn't no, want no, no, you wanted I know. Dawson, didn't you? You called for it. They've done it. But Fielder. for what effect? For fielding. It's like, <laughs> it's not really fielding. He picked, took a stunning catch today, though. That's got to hurt your confidence, isn't it? Yeah. You get picked. Yeah. You're a leg spinner. You're not mowing alleys, so you're not getting picked for your bowling and maybe, no, um, I mean, you're batting and maybe bowl. You've been picked for your bowling and you don't bowl. Well, why do you think that, why do you think that Well, and the, the other case? thing is, we bowled first <laughs> and he hasn't been bowled. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We're not chasing uh, yeah. and bowlers yeah. are doing really yeah. well, so let's not risk the leg spin. Cause we'll, well, um, w- would it be a problem if he got picked, if he would have bowled one over? Yes. That would, that would have still been a problem in yes. your books of Especially why is he being picked. if Mo and Ali's bowling in front of you. But Mo and Ali, you look at his figures. I watched no, Mo, and no, Ali, I Mo and Ali bowl but and there's no way he should be taking any of Moeen's uh, overs. But he, sh- he should or he shouldn't be getting picked. Do you, do you know what I mean? They're picking a leg spinner I think and they're bowling a part-time spinner in front of him. Who That part-time spinner bowled... If, I don't care if you... Part-time. If you're Joe Root and you bowled four for, uh, two for 21 or four... Yeah. I do not care. No, no, you that's can bowl not, the full four. No, yeah, oh no, I get no, you're right. But my point is is that he's being picked to bowl in front of him. Before any figures have happened, before yeah, you know how right, well he's okay. done in the game, he's already in front of the queue. But we have got six bowlers, six recognised bowlers in that team. Do you understand my point though? Mo and Ali is is our part time spinner. Yeah. Well, he should be. And he's getting picked in if, front of the actual If Mo spinner. got hit, would would Rashid have Mo got hit for if he had two overs, went two for twenty. Would R- Rashid come and pick up the last two overs? You'd do you hope think? so. You'd hope so. But I, my point is, is that he's, he's not the first pick to bowl spin. Well, but we, but when he's the spin bowler, we've known he's not been the first pick for. But but why pick him then? Well, you could say that for every game, couldn't you? Every game, any game he's played, why pick him? Which pe- which we have no, to. No, because he's been but, bowled in other games. Yeah, okay, but so they've picked him. So at least, but he's never. Him. But he's. It's it's quite recognisable. He's never been the first. He's been never seen as the front line spinner. That's why Mo and Ali's been bowling spin but, for yeah, us. Yeah, but in years. longer formats, he's going to bowl. He'll you've have more opportunities in, to bowl. Yeah, yeah. you picked him in twenty twenty. I don't not mind even it. Bowled I don't mind it. I think I don't mind having six bowlers in a team and then not using one of them. If if it, I think maybe Stokes was a little bit expensive, 
maybe Rashid could have had the one over. But I don't mind it. If Rashid's happy with it, if he's not, then... He's not going to be happy with that. He shouldn't be. I don't mind only bowling uh, five out of my six uh, overs. I think Mo- Owen Morgan did a great job in the field, and that's what's kept him down oh, to... Yeah. No, I think it's good. 147. But I don't understand seven. the selection. Well, we've got Tymo Mills has come in. Let's just finish off the team. Go on. Uh, he comes in as number 11, and he's probably, he's probably only played a handful of T20s before for England. He's, he picked up his first ever wicket today. Maybe he's only played two or three before. I, didn't, I didn't know really much about Mills, but he's... You T20 he's, specialist. Right, because of injury. Because of a 24-year-old lad who can bowl 90 consistently. Right. And he has the best variation with his slow ball. Back at, uh, at the back of the hand, slow ball, and right. he can control the seam okay. on it. So it looks like a quicker ball. If, you were to, if, you're, if you're reading the... You'll know more about this, but right. if you're reading the, the seam, comes out the back of the hand and it's not one of them ones that well, are... it's still bolt straight. It's still it? bolt straight, right, yeah. Okay. It's a, he's a player that can bowl... His slow ball just as well as his 19... But he just can't ball. play any through longer a, than 2020. Through a condition with his back. Right. He's, That's unfortunate, isn't he it? Can't, he can't bowl more than that. He, he didn't bowl anything yesterday in the nets. Right, okay. Uh, it is a shame, yeah. Overall, good bowling performance from Brilliant. England, isn't it? Brilliant, yeah. yeah. Do you think England's bowling was really good or India's batting was no, poor? No, no. Um... I think Indian were embarrassing today. <laughs> embarrassing yeah, yeah. is harsh. I, I, yeah, okay, slightly harsh. England bowled really well. Right. But I have got criticisms of India, actually. Go on. Um, Dhoni. What about him? Dhoni picks up 36 off 27, right? Which yeah, is brilliant. Not, you're not that... That's not a bad innings. Yeah. But for people who are just going to... Who haven't watched a game or just going to look at this on the stats, yeah. um, that's fine. You know, if I hadn't okay. watched the game, that's fine. Right, what's your complaint? That they'd find themselves, you know, at times 98 for five or 115 for six. And okay, Donny had to stay there. Right. But Donny didn't start playing out, playing fours, hitting boundaries oh. until the very last over. Oh, you're complaining that he played too defensively? I'm saying that he should have played out. 147 was never, ever going to be enough on this pitch. Right. That if he, if he got out for... You think he should have gone death or glory? Twenty five. Then they would have, they would have lost anyway. But he he could have he could have doubled his score. I know that's hindsight's brilliant. Yeah. But they were never going to against England. They were never going to ever look to. So you prefer him just to have a go, and if it completely fails, then you go. Then well, we would have lost anyway. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, maybe that's not, hindsight. Not than giving going. Well, at least we'll set him a target. The last over though. He, he's potentially got only got six balls then to hit 36 runs. Right. 36 runs wouldn't have saved him on that pitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you want to set a target, don't you? I can understand that, yeah. Because I'd be pretty, if I was the captain, and he's like one okay, of the last so recognised think... batsmen, and he goes out, like plays two balls, and then tries to smack one out of the park and gets bowled, and then we get out for under 100. So you they go, picked cheers, up, mate. But they picked up 147. This is what I'm saying. I'm not saying... If you look down at that, if you look down at that scorecard, after Dhoni, you've got Pandy comes and gets three, uh, Panda comes and gets nine, and Rascal gets five. It's not like people were hitting out. Dhoni was knocking around for singles. Yeah, but he's ended up thirty-six off um, twenty-seven. That's all right. But it's, it's not like it's not like him hitting it around for singles being there, and then someone else takes the reins. So you think he hasn't boundaries. played? He hasn't taken one for the team. I know. I think he has, but I think it's in a negative <laughs> manner. He's played for the team, but I don't think that's that's what the team necessarily should have or would have needed. I would have preferred to see him go out there and hit it. So you earlier. So he you, the seventeenth. If over. he'd have got out for like twenty, if he'd have got out of, in the seventeenth over and they'd have been on one hundred and thirty, that would have been or one hundred and twenty or one hundred and fifty, whatever it was, I'd have been fine with that. You wouldn't be complaining. Going, he's one of the last recognised batsmen. He's gone out there trying to smash it. Why didn't he just try and set a total and then put England under pressure with the ball? He hasn't even given injury a chance. But the Indian team haven't given themselves a chance with 147 off 20. They haven't. No, I know. In- but England would have picked that up with, their, with blindfolds on, do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know England haven't confident. been good on this tour, but 147 for seven off 20, but on that wicket, which, okay, a little bit of spin and a little bit, it 
stuck in the pitch slightly for the faster bowlers. But some, I mean, some of the boundaries were 65 metres. <laughs> yeah, okay. Liam Plunkett would have opened that. He would have gone up and over the... Yeah, Liam Plunkett hits it miles. <laughs> He's huge. I'm, and I'm saying that he comes in at, what, number 10, is it? So I'm saying England wouldn't have never had a problem chasing 147. Well, I don't think it was in their intention to set 147. It, well, it, I think I think I think it probably when it got to Doan, I think you're right that he is probably. Do you think he should have gone earlier? Yes or no? No. You're happy with him waiting until the very last over to hit a boundary? <laughs> you you can't just put words in my mouth. I didn't say I'm happy with him. In that situation, Are you happy with his performance with a, there? With a collapse, getting 36 off 27. You're happy with that performance? That I would much did. rather that than imagine no, 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 going no. and getting out for nothing. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. So would I. Right. But you're happy with his performance in that game? You, Well, I'd have preferred him to get tons more. So you're not yes. happy? You're not 100% happy with, with, with the way You're he's never 100% played. happy with anyone's performance, are but you? He, he had the opportunities to do better, doesn't he? Like everyone does. Well, how many balls did he just leave? How many balls did he hit for four? How many boundaries? Let's have a look on the scorecard. How many boundaries did he did Why does he, he make? have to hit loads of boundaries to do well? Right. MS Stoney, how many boundaries do you think he should be making in a <laughs> score of 36? He scored four. He got scored three fours. Okay. 12 of his runs came from fours. Right. That's probably clever cricket, isn't it? I re- Seriously, I'm not even trying to play devil's advocate. I don't understand your point. If he would have gone earlier, right, they would have had, they could have had a possibility of a bigger score. Yes, if he, if he would have got out, then they still would have lost. They could have won. They could have won with one hundred and forty-seven. No. Yes. Yes, there's chance. Yeah. Like anything. So, how much more do you think they'd have made? If he would have gone earlier, they could have made thirty more. Right, and you think that would have been massively competitive then? It would have been certainly more competitive than one hundred forty-six. Yes, I'm not arguing that, but I I think. No, England would have probably chased down that because England right. a brilliant team. But that could have opened. 147, England would have just could have gone out and, like I said, with blindfolds on and win that game. I think you're putting quite a lot on MS Stoney. Yeah, I he's am, actually yeah. done really quite well compared he's, to everyone else. On that <laughs> I'm not card. saying he's the reason why India haven't won. Right. In, in, Indian team bold shit, batted crap. MS Stoney was the only person who got a not-out score and he's got picked up the most runs. I'm certainly not taking this out on MS Stoney. Yeah. But I think maybe he could have he's scored more runs. Well. Yeah, he got a not-out score. Do you know why? Average. Do you know why he got not- Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't That's taking a risk. <laughs> I like MS Stoney. I've said that in the when that big 100 he made in the second ODI or whatever it was. Yeah. I just think maybe India haven't played anywhere near where they could have today. And if we look at the bowling lineup, Owen Moen Ali... Man of the match today. Moeen Ali picks up man of the match. That's two for 21 off four. It's just getting bold. <laughs> you, uh, no disrespect to Moeen Ali, but you know you're, as a batting line, you've had a bad day when he's uh, working around for f- work five... Uh, oh, India. Yeah. yeah. You, you've had oh, a bad no, day. Yeah. Mo, oh, no, yeah. You think Moeen Ali, he would be... If, the Moeen but, did bowl well. When you have like your meeting, because yeah. you have your meet, team meeting... A bowler and to you p- go, potentially take, take like, on, right? Who are we going to target? Because it's a good side. Uh, what about the the bloke who doesn't really vary it and just just bowl some off spin? Like, yes. Do you think I've been slightly harsh on India? I think you've been very harsh on <laughs> MS Tony. <laughs> uh, not so harsh in India. That's never a competitive. I'm. It's not that. Don't get it? me wrong. I'm not saying 147 is good enough or even competitive, which it isn't. No. But I think had MS Tony done differently, they'd have got a lot less. You can or, you can have more, a go or more. You can they could have yeah, had more, but you you can have a go. Yeah, okay. With 140. Okay, maybe I am being too. You harsh. can have a go. You it, 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 it's a team performance that's let them that. It's not MS Stoney's performance. Maybe I look to try. I'm trying to backpedal slightly. It's, I think yeah, it's okay. because MS Stoney. I think he could have gone actually earlier, got in. <laughs> <laughs> but I think because he actually got in, so you're going well. He could do yeah, more. Yeah. Whereas other people, but you know, Coley got out and he 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 got himself in, but that's fine. That's yeah. I so quite did Rainer. Like the fact he didn't do brilliantly. Yeah, so do I. I don't. Uh, <laughs> is it, I is like it, his attitude is rooms. starting to get on my. He's so head. arrogant. He's really arrogant when he talks just, about the England team as well. He's it too really, angry. Re- yeah, and 
And he's too. He's one of these people that you know when 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 <laughs> if he takes a catch, he's going to be right up in the bats and stuff. Like, yeah. yeah, I've got you out. You imagine if he was bowling. Oh my You're like, god! I'm just going to yeah. pop this out. <laughs> Lovely teeth, though, hasn't he? Has he got nice teeth? Oh, I don't know. I don't like his beard. Oh, he just annoys me. Lovely teeth, though. I, do you think he annoys us because he's really good? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think it would be such an issue if he wasn't so brilliant. Though, what I did see today, which was brilliant, was... Um, shall I... Shall, <laughs> one of the... Oh, like, <laughs> the leg spinner, um, sh- Shall... Right. Jason Roy just sent this lad straight... Um, Slog sweep for six. Right. And then you could, this kid was f- probably pissed about it. Right. The next ball, uh, Roy drops on. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and this, and this uh, bowler's like, yeah, come on. Yeah, in his face. <laughs> this one just starts laughing at him. It's just like, I've just chopped on, mate. <laughs> you haven't just completely come and. It wasn't, it wasn't the Jimmy, was it? It was not <laughs> no, that good. No, it wasn't, it wasn't as good as. Why well, are you chirping, chirping now, mate? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bowls him, gives him the arms. <laughs> no, it wasn't as good as that. But um, that was nice to see. Uh, if Let's move on to the batting. Uh, Billings Yorks himself against this Shalal. Shal, Shal, Shal. Billings is doing well, isn't he? I'm yeah, becoming a fan. Well, yeah. yeah. Joe Root plays a horrible innings today. Yeah, there was a. I was watching on the score because <laughs> got bowled off an O ball and, and then, then got bowled again <laughs> off the free hit. Brilliant. It was just like a, a bit like it made me a sticky wicket. When you get bowled off a free hit, it's a dead ball, isn't it? I was thinking no, this. it's not. But it should be, shouldn't it? It should definitely be, yeah. But it, if it hits, it can go for buys if it hits the thing, yeah. And I was thinking, do you we, get... We saw it in the ODIs. Do you get, say, just theoretically, free hit, you smack it up in the air. Yeah. You get caught, right? So you run one, you get caught. So you can have that one, because if you're on your way back for your two, you'd get that anyway, whether you're out or not. Yeah. But he throws it in and say it's just a huge boundary and they yeah. manage to run another one. Yeah. I don't think you should get that second run. No. If, if, I think you do. If the ball ever hits the stumps, I think that should be dead ball then. But even if you even get with out, the run outs. Even, with, even if someone's... It's, got, it, it's hit the stumps, that's that dead ball then, we have to see if he's in or out of the crease. Don't go on and get overthrows because it's hit the stumps. Yeah. But I mean, once he's been caught, he's then technically out, even though it's a free hit. Do you know what I mean? No, so no, no, can get no. The, I think, I the, think, I think it's the fielder's responsibility to get it in there. It's different because it hasn't hit the stumps. <laughs> it's, it's still out. It should still he's be out. out. So shouldn't it be? Well, you can have the runs you managed to run until you are no, out. He, I think he has to get it in. You think he should, yeah, yeah. or that's the rule? No, I think he should because he can. Can't the, he? Yeah, the he rule's fine. Going. Right. But okay. no, yeah, but he he can be run out on a no ball. Oh no, I know on, on a, a free, free hit. hit. Yeah, but it should be the fielder's responsibility. To See, I think once you're out, it should be. How many runs did you manage to get? And that's where it stops until you're out. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Because you shouldn't be able to get get bowled and the ball roll for four. You go, oh, that's four. It's not four for you though, is it? It's four for the team. No, I know, but it's yeah. still four runs. Okay, yeah. Really, no, nor do I. But the, I think if you've hit it to the fielder and he throws it in, it should be his, his responsibility to throw it in before and you could still be running when it's in his hands on a free hit. <laughs> he could catch you and you could still be running and making runs. By the time he, he has to throw it in for it to be right. the end of the Yeah, ball, I the get ball what you're saying. Um, yeah, Joe, Joe Root played a bit of a stinky one. <laughs> but Useful. Owen Morgan, there's two shots of Owen Morgan, which I really like to watch. And it's one where, you know, anything kind of short and he pulls it's it like a, the like, corner. Yeah, it's like a... But it's, not, it's like a... Like, a front, a, like front of... Like it's a, like a front foot pull at like yeah, waist height. Yeah. That he, get, he plays it you can tell he's good at it because he hits it to cow. Yeah. So he's picking yeah, he's the not, ball up he's so early. He's not hitting it square. Yeah, he's it's picking it. He's nearly really hitting nice. it back over their head because he's picking the ball up so early. And this thing and he, he does, it. which we used to see Paul Collingwood do, but Owen Morgan does it just to a better extent. He's right. just so much more yeah. powerful. Everything about it. Right? Um, is this inside out cover shot? That's becoming popular. Oh, it looks in, so good when cricket. Owen Morgan does it. When Owen Morgan does that, it looks like I don't like one, his technique. No, no, you don't like that. I don't like watching him. Though he he, he doesn't look, move as much on the crease anymore. I don't does think he? he looks very good. No, no, I'm not saying he isn't. He no, is. Okay, yeah. I'm saying classically watching him doesn't look very good. I'm not saying he's not effective. It's like Shander Paul. I don't think he looks very good. Massively effective. Yeah, yeah. So, well, 
he's we, we he had a shit 2016, but right. his 2017, start of 2017 yeah. has been brilliant, and I'm, I'm I'm glad to see him do runs. I'd I'd like him to continue being England captain. Uh, England win by the seven wickets. I'm mm-hmm. oh, actually just having that chat about the no ball thing. Right. I've been meaning to bring this up on the podcast Go on. with you. I've got a couple of questions. Okay. What happens if it's the final ball and India need or England or any team needs two win two runs to win to win the game? Right. And somebody inside edges it, the batsman inside edges it gets caught in the batsman's pads. Can the batsman run? Can, does the does the bats because the batsman can't take it out with his hands? Yeah. So he can't effectively dislodge it. Double hit, he can't do it. It's already hit yeah. his pads. He would have to kick it out effectively. Mm. Can he run? No. He can't run. No, pretty sure that's a dead ball. People can comment, if you, but I'm almost certain because I've, I've thought about this before. You can't do it. Because it's not like... I'm saying why I said two runs is because one run could take it to a supernova. Yeah. If it was one run to win, then he could be like, okay, fair enough. Dead, we could call that a dead ball if you right. want. It could be a supernova and then we'll decide it. But this one has to go to his... Because he can't pick it up, can he? No. Well, he could. No, it's already hit the bat. Yeah, but he could. Because you can... you can. But that will be... You can, yeah. If the team appealed, you'd be out handling the ball. Yes, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. could which, do it. Which, which you would do, wouldn't you? If he was going to run off yeah. that last ball. No, yeah, you would. But, yeah, so... Yeah, that's a straight dead ball. I'm, pre- I'm, all, I'm pretty sure that that is not allowed. I tell you what, have they changed the rule with getting hit on the lid and catching it? Because that's a dead ball as well, isn't it? Yeah, no, you can't. You can, yeah, but I think they've and changed if it hits that. The, if it hits the um, fielder's hat, you can't either. Yeah, I think they've changed that. Have they? I think I, I think I read something they're going to or they have. Oh, okay, I think they should as well. I so I like I um I'd like to find out if that. I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't be allowed to do that. And my last question. Go on. What's your nasty saying? Uh, you know, Sky Sports do. Like documentaries that talk about uh, how well, or like superstars of English yeah. cricket and that. Anyway, it's a documentary about Nasser saying. And Nasser faced problems in early in his career in trying to get into the team and stay in the team. He actually picked up quite a few ducks, I think, right. in his first few innings. It was, it was in and out of the team okay. for like long periods of time. Right. Like maybe like he'd be dropped for a few months or a year. And his first, the first hundred he scores, which cements his place on yeah. the team, if you like. Doesn't walk where they they've already got him out once, so he doesn't walk. Yeah, and I don't know how I don't know what score he was on. So he was out, but he no, no. But I mean, he was out, well, but he, he didn't hit, walk. Bat hit ball, yeah, right. But and so he didn't walk. Yeah, and he says he he felt the neck, but he just was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for the umpire to okay. make the decision. Now, I don't know. He he could have been on three or he could have been on ninety. Do you know what I mean? I I'm not sure what score it was because that, that would make a difference. Yes, uh, if he passed fifty, then right. You could have said, well, he could have walked because the England team may have thought he's done enough to continue having a slot in the England team. Right. But if he's on three or on zero yes. again, then that's big trouble. What's that, your question? The first, does it, do you feel guilty? Yes. Do you feel like that 100 really counts in your career? Well, it, 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 it does. It yeah. counts, yeah, but it's like, I had to cheat I've, to get I'm it. I'm all again. I. I'm completely against not walking. So. You know, it was good when Stuart Broad didn't walk into Australia, wasn't it? When he, no, I hate it. I can't bear it. You don't like it? No. no I, at no I, point. I like it. <laughs> I like it a I lot. hate it. I don't have that like Australian thing of like, well, the umpire's there to do his job. Yeah, it's his job to give you out. Yeah, I, I know. When, Stuart, like that when, is, when, Stuart, when that came off the face of Stuart Broad's bat in the ashes, I was, I, I loved it. I, I I really uh, really loved it. I hate it. I can't bear it. So so yeah, what, I've done it. You haven't walked. <laughs> well, it was a different situation. I was I was pretty young, and I went down to like a spinner. Went down to sweep it, and I've never I don't know why hit just landed straight on the top edge of my bat, bounced over my head, and the wiki caught it. Yeah. And because I was really young playing <laughs> men's cricket, I was just scared, so I didn't know what to do. So I just waited to be given out. And Were the umpire you? thought it clipped the top of my helmet, it bounced off. Did the you get any words? No, I came in at like number eleven, uh, but I was—I was still feel guilty about it now. So <laughs> why didn't I just walk off? Uh, yeah, yeah, I always walk. I hate it. Yeah, because I was thinking your it's first, cheating. your first hundred, not to walk. It's cheating. Um, 
That's, that that could have completely changed his career if he would have walked that time. Manasseh might not have had a career in cricket. Yeah, you know, it's a very hypothetical thing to say, but I, I wanted to. He's been on my mind for a little while. I wonder would what you, you what you thought? Um, I would never. You'd I don't never know. I don't, I don't. I don't play cricket, do I? No, but but if you were to ask me now, I wouldn't. I wouldn't walk. Really? So I say you play so, like no. your first game of cricket this summer. You're yeah. on naught batting. Yeah. You oh, know you've hit one, get caught behind. I'm not walking, no way. <laughs> and the umpire doesn't give you, you just stand there. I might, I might walk if I've made 100. <laughs> I might walk if, I've, <laughs> if I'm satisfied with my performance. That's terrible. But if I've made three and there's still 30 overs for me to bat out, I'm not walking. Shoot Broad never should have walked. They used to have, the Australians used to have a go at uh, Gilchrist because he walked. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, be upset about it. I don't understand should that. We, Comment down below if you're a, if you would walk. If you're a not. walker. If you're a walker. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, finish off there. Uh, thank you for all your support so far, as always. Make sure you do drop a comment about anything. Um, you've heard me say it lots of times, but anything you want, drop it down in the comment. Uh, likes really help us out. Yeah. They help other people see the thing, and it's a nice thing to see if we've done well or not. If you have enjoyed it, give us a like. Subscribe. Most important thing is the subscription. Definitely. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we will come out with an episode next Sunday, which is the second T20. And we wouldn't want you f- for you to miss that. That's about it, I think. You, know, you can follow us on Twitter if you like. All the dis- links in the description below. And uh, we shall see you on Sunday. It's a little bit later. It's a one o'clock kickoff. Right. So probably Sunday evening uh, GMT time. And we'll be covering <laughs> the second ODI. Uh, Cheers, second guys. T20. Bye. <laughs>